And welcome back, everybody. It's been about 10 seconds for you. Or for me. About a couple days for you guys. Playing the gig again. Well, of course. Uh, and we heard a taco up on this hill. And we're gonna go hunt the taco. And hopefully stay the hell away from the other gig in the area. What am I at? Oh, it's it's oh, it's gonna be a hot minute, isn't it? It's gonna take a long time to get to to fully grown. And I've buckled in for like thirty minutes to see how little progress. Wait, you're over here. If it's hunting the taco, then I can hunt it. That's for fucking sure. Let's go up and over. I mean, I really don't have to stay in this area anymore. I'm big enough to get most other creatures. And I am... I have enough... Prince. Where are you, motherfucker? That's a lot of food for such a small little snack. Can't say I'm complaining. Serato, a Dilo, and another gig in this area, man. It makes me actually wonder how when we were progressing as a Serato, I stayed alive near this swamp. Because in retrospect, that swamp is a death trap. I guess it's because I got big enough that I was the thing that brought the death. But even then, I... God, it was a miracle I survived that long. I say that surviving is an even bigger creature. Okay, let's follow this. I know there's water up here. I think it's right over here. Not 100 on that. Don't quote me. Now we can just kind of wander about. Because <laughs> we're not big enough to claim the area yet. Where do I really want to claim the swamp? I feel like a... There's an aloe. So water... Man. Sounds like one raptor. I can bludgeon to death a, a one raptor.
I'm not sure how I fare against a Karna. Yeah, there's multiple. We'll stay away from them. That's like a bad idea wrapped inside of a bad idea, inside of a worse idea. Because I'm just looking for water. I just want water. Let's see if let's see if they get aggressive. Just trying to go for some water. Seems like I can get away with three quarters of water. Keep an eye on that car now. Right now he's going for something else. All right. Got some water. Gotta be honest, I don't like this area either. Although it's pretty obvious what they're doing. <laughs> Gotta set up shop at this water. Uh, I guess raptors. Yeah, raptors do what they do. They let me drink from it, which means I don't care. If now if they were to like have prevented me from drinking and were very obviously camping, we'd have some fucking issues right then and there. They let me drink. And they aren't... <laughs> they seem like they're just having a grand old time. Uh... Yeah, let's get away from that. Let's get away from that Carno. Carno's the one I'm most worried about. One, though, God, is like a semi-grown gig. We are just as big as a Carnotaurus. That's unexpected, actually. These Carnos aren't really that small pretty big and it seems like that Karno is way more into self-preservation than he is trying to cause a fight. 
is actually kind of weird. I'm pretty used to them. Head up, I'm gonna head up toward the high ground right there in front of us. Now that we're a little bigger, and honestly, it's actually kind of great. Because this way, I get a little bit more freedom of actually seeing the map. Because the swamp's right down there. Or by that rock. Yeah, something. I can't remember what. What is that? Might be a trike, I don't know. Parasaur. Maybe a Myasaur. Mm. So here's my only predators at the moment. Uh, T-Rex. Another gig. Spinosaurus, if they've like spawned one in. Which makes sense. They, they do, on occasion. Um... Or pack of something the same size as me. So, like that pack of raptors, I could probably one shot two, three, four of them. Whole thing were to attack me, be dead. Be dead fast, be dead quick. Um, so, yeah, let's prefer not to you know, mess with them. Uh, or a pack of Carnos. Carnos are weird because they stack. And not like a tiny bit of bleed, they stack a metric shit ton of it. That's like the thing they do. That's that's their thing. It's Baryonyx, uh, Carnotaurs, and Dilop. Yeah, Dilophosaurs. That cause the most amount of bleed. It's ridiculous. I have been caught up in their bleed, and it is like some of the craziest stuff ever. At level like, or when they first spawn in, like Dilophosaurus. Uh, if you run up to a baby Rex, and I've done this on the official servers where there are no rules, because screw you. Um, you're able to just run up to, like, a baby something. It doesn't have to be a Rex, something. And quickly take a bite out of it. And then it's bleeding. And it's bleeding quite a bit. And then you don't gotta do jack. Yeah, Garno. Um, you ain't gotta do anything. You can just sit back. And to me, that's ridiculous. It's atrocious, too. It's actually it's horrible. See, once you get bigger, it's so crazy. Because once you're, like, bigger as an animal, and you walk around, you realize that, like, the whole time you were walking around as some small, insignificant creature, there was like a thousand things around you that could have murdered you. Oh, no question and no problem. Hmm. And I'm like listening to make sure there's nothing near me. Uh, but it's like crazy. Like those raptors were, that was an easy kill. Easy kill for a raptor. Easy, easy kill. But I didn't see him. I didn't see me because of how I was playing. I was playing very safely and very cautious. They didn't see me, or they didn't happen to see me, and I didn't happen to see them. But the whole time I was within a breath of them. I wasn't far from him by any means or any stretch of the imagination. Alright. 
Oh. Oh, hit my mic. My bad. Hmm. See, now I'm just kind of listening for anything. So you see what I mean? All the calls of all of the... A lot of creatures, they're gone. They're all gone. It's so weird to me. I will say one thing that's really helpful for the aisle. If you don't have it, get it. And that is have a mic that will allow you to do surround sound. Because it is so helpful to be able to... So like when that car no sound was just happening, I, I was doing this. So you see I do that, where I like move my ears like this. It's so that it goes in one ear, in the other ear, and then I can start pinpointing where it is. Because if it gets quieter when I do this, and quieter on, like, quieter on this side. Oh, oh my god, I'm yawning. What the hell? My footprints, any water? No. Food wise, we're just gonna have to figure it out. This map is fucking huge, I'll say that much. Careful approaching it though. So let's do one of these. I don't remember the Rex you ran into earlier. I don't know if it's still here. I don't see any other footprints down there or anything. What it actually means is it's just better this way if I go to this one. Something is yelling a storm over there. Oh, I know what lake this is. Yikes. This was when I was the, my baby Ceratosaur. In Far From Alone. Yep. Seven or point zero seven two out of what eight? Yeah, eight point eight five. Point seven two out of point eight five. So I have to spend a lot of time as an adult gig. Or as a semi adult gig before I get I get big boy. Which I'm gonna be very honest, I will do, after this episode, I'll get this guy big, or at least near that goal, off camera, without no on camera, because that would take way too many episodes, it would like, I'd be gigged out episode wise, I mean that'd be just, just too much. But it will be worth it. I will say that. It would be very worth it to... Oof, get a gig that big. I mean, you'd rule a server with that kind of thing. I'm not looking to rule a server. I'm looking to be a loner. Oof, I guess it's actually something kind of funny. So whenever I've played the aisle... There have always been times where, like, I run into a pack of, of, of people, right? And I rarely get into groups. I'm not a very... Uh, I'm not a very... Eh, we'll continue on. We'll go this direction for now, though. No. Okay. 
that's a fully grown Rex with a not so fully grown Rex and as much as I'd love to die today I'll save it for tomorrow That's a, that's a whole lot of nope right over there. That's what that is. The juvenile, I might actually, I'd want to kill it. But there's a much bigger animal than me next to it being a fully grown Rex. Like the only thing that I said would kill me. Oh yeah, yeah, that's over there. Good on water. Gotta buy food. Yeah, I've always been very like a very anti-social person, even on games. I don't make a lot of friends, even in the inter like on the internet. Uh, normally I was, it's the group of friends I have now and I've had for years. I got introduced to them via a friend that I had in real life. It wasn't even like a, I, you know, oh, we'll talk. You know, it was, it was, uh, Oh, these guys are really cool. Oh, shit. Wait, what the hell? No! Oh. Oh, that's sad. Alright. Uh. Everybody got booted off. What the? What the what? Oh, come on. Really? Like I said, the server's been having a ton of trouble. Don't wipe my gig. I'll be so disappointedly sad if you wipe my gig. All right, so let's see. It just booted everybody. Everybody got kicked off. I don't think anyone expected it. So let's see something real quick. Okay. Where am I? Oh, I'm up here still. Okay, so we got reset. And I'm next to food. I mean, that works. Where is it? Well, that's scary. See it. No. There it is. Nice. Oh, wow, that's going to get me to full. I ate the carcass at all. Doesn't seem like it. Let me see. Alright, looks like no. Honestly, with that, I know where the Rexes are, so let's go away from the Rexes. So, you know, I don't get eaten by a Rex. Haha. -ha. Funny how that works. Well, that was an unexpected twist. We just lost a shitload of progress. Not really. We lost, what, two ticks? It's not bad. Plus, I was in a interesting position before with the Rexes nearby. We're gonna go... We're gonna go a direction, I think, that I know where I'm going. But hey, we're exploring. See, now I know what's down that way, and I know what that direction is. And I run, actually, that pool that we were at, that's not the pool from uh, Far From Alone. The 
pool from Far From Alone is the one the Rexes were drinking out of. So that's why they didn't see me, is because they were focused on getting a drink. Which makes sense. Since the server reset, though, it reset it to morning. So we have a whole new day ahead of us. Woo! Hmm. Not a whole lot in this direction, is there? It's like, I don't think... I don't know, okay, most, most, most everyone's back on. So water is gonna be number one now. Food's ironically not... When you're bigger, it's not as hard to come by, because I can cover more ground. And ironically, with it being midday, even the server adds all reset. So, or adds AI. So, which means that around here, there might be like... Metric crap tons of just something. Because they spawn in clusters sometimes. There's the swamp. There's the lakes, and over there is where the Utahs are. God, I, I cover so much distance, and you don't really feel like I've covered any. Oof. Oh, I'm so sad we got kicked out. Oh, dear. I was worried we were going to be reset back to little. Because that would be... Oh, so sad. It would be a sad, sad day. Hmm. hmm. I, again, I think I know where I'm going. But I, uh... I pretty honestly, I got no, I got no freaking idea. I am really just winging. This whole series is basically me just, well, I think this will work, and either it does, or you starve to death as a Dilophosaurus. Like you see what I mean? Like it's, it's a very in between type thing. I want to stick away from swamp. I'm like, normally, it, like, I would go into swamp. I'd refill on water. I think I'm gonna actually now that I think about it. It is fucking it's so close right now. It's my best water source. But there's just so much dangerous crap around there. I mean I know there's an aloe around here too. Now in your swamp. So I think I'll grab I think this episode will basically end with me grabbing a drink and then booking it back up this hill. And we'll need an episode up here, guys, but Swamp is... It's, it's a place. I don't actually know what it's called. I've nicknamed it Swamp. Um, I've nicknamed the other one the Murder Pool. For pretty obvious reasons, I, I feel like. Uh, I mean, I'm just throwing it out there. It, it's, 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 a, it's a murder pool. It's where people go. It's where you go to die. Uh, swamp is also where you go to die. But, um... Unlike most other games, dying means a lot more in this one. Let's, let's speed this up. I don't like the slow walk down. I want to get my drink and get the hell out. I don't want to wait. Oh, son of a bitch. I hate it. Right here. There's just a Serato. Somewhere around here. That's big enough to probably be a threat to me. Oh, I just want to drink and then I'm going to leave. Hopefully what's gonna happen is... 
like he's moving along the edge of the swamp. There's the water. Is he just... What is he doing? Why can't I see him? I think the thing in the bush is a fully grown Ceratosaur. The other one, the big one, the one that I'm currently not gonna fuck with. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's something I don't wanna mess with. Let us get the drink, and then let's get right back up the hill. No hesitation. I don't even care. Drink. Going up. There we go. Going right up the hill. No hesitation. Right back up. Not even going to play this game. Nope. Off the tree. Get off the tree. Start walking. Let's get some stand back. Oh, hold on. We can get some food right before we get back up there, and then I don't gotta worry about it. Right up the hill. Not even gonna pretend. They aren't following me. Seems like they're sticking in the swamp. Which is good for me. Good for me. And what's even better is I know something they don't. He's defending the swamp, but what he doesn't know is there's a fully cone Rex on the side of the ridge. I don't know what that was, and I don't care. Whew, all right, well, episode's going a little longer than normal, uh, for reasons. <laughs> um, God, I hate Swamp. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I love Swamp, I hate Swamp. Love-hate relationship, really complicated. Don't sass me. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of it, guys, for this episode. And probably it for this recording session. Uh, I'm going to park my Giga up at the tippy top of this hill. Right there. Park him up there. See what's our progress at. Alright. So we've, we've made it pretty far. Not really overall to getting bigger. Uh, but in a, in a way... But yeah, so I am going to off camera either die with the gig, which would be sad, or get him big enough to mean something. 
so I'm hoping the big enough to mean something is where we end up. I have been playing really safe so far. Uh, and I feel like that's like the way I'm going to keep playing until I get even bigger. It, I mean, the minute I got bigger, bigger, I definitely played around a little bit more, got a little cocky, but realized I'm not the biggest fish around. Um, but yeah, I'm going to park my gig up here, and then I will see you guys next episode. I will probably be at... Oh, God, let me see. I'll probably start the next episode when I'm basically like 8-4 I think is when I'll start the next episode because otherwise I mean it took us this entire episode just to get this much given we lost a decent amount of progress like ten, five minutes still all right so with that guys I'll park my gig and I will see you all next time.